Now, moving forward, let's talk uh, matters innovation. Now, what can you do with a faulty water pump? For most of us, we would probably throw it away and forget about it. But for Kimani Otieno, a young innovator, this was a gold mine. And despite only having his A-level education, he decided to convert a conventional water pump into a hybrid engine for his bike. He tells me his biggest motivation was his father, who was not impressed at first. Something that made him work even harder and research even more. And despite his ingenuity, all he's asking for is an opportunity to study and hone his skills. Here's that story. My name is uh, Kimani, Kimani Otieno. I'm a student. I am also an engineering enthusiast. Yeah, I'm a young scientist. I decided to make my own motorized machine. And when I made it, I made it purely to use petroleum. It's a hybrid engine, which means it's a synergy of two different uh, sources of energy. So it uses both petroleum and hydrogen. So it uses around 67% petroleum and then 43% hydrogen. That gives you better, better mileage, obviously. You use less fuel. We have an on-demand system for hydrogen. So the water is on the bicycle and it has a solar on top. So the solar uh, performs, gives energy for the electrolysis to happen. So as you turn on the electricity in the cathodes and the anode, the hydrogen is split. So two molecules of hydrogen and one molecule of oxygen. So it splits those into gaseous form. And then that gaseous, gaseous, uh, gaseous mixture is taken directly into the carburetor. And then instead of burning more fuel, requiring more fuel, you burn the hydrogen. Oxygen is obviously needed for combustion, so yeah, also the oxygen goes into the engine. So uh, that is how it works. So it is green hydrogen, because most of it is gotten from the solar, and then some of it is also gotten from the battery. So we also use regenerative braking. I have an alternator on the bicycle that converts. When you're braking, instead of using normal brake, you turn that kinetic energy into electrical energy. So that energy is charged, charged to the battery and then it's turned again into the hydrogen. So we have two sources of electricity for the electrolysis. So you have to have a solute, a solute inside the water to make sure it conducts well. So the cheapest and one that is very good is salt. Salt acts as a solute, an additive to the to the electrolyte so it makes the electrolyte more conductive of electricity which helps you produce more 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 hydrogen and produce the hydrogen more ef efficiently and then when you have salt inside it does not produce byproducts that are carbon carbon related yeah. yeah so we use salt but there are other additives that's one of the things that i was talking about mm -hmm. if you have the correct additive so salt is not the best mm -hmm. there are other additives that you can use that are way better, like baking soda, uh, you can use even soap, but salt is better than those, and there are other better additives. When you don't need the hydrogen, it turns off the system and stores the, 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 the electricity in a battery, because it's a hydrogen on demand. Yeah. So you can't be producing hydrogen when you've stopped, because hydrogen is very explosive. Mm -hmm. So it's a hydrogen on demand. So when the sun, like right now when it's just sitting, the electrical energy from the solar is being stored in a battery. So the controller is in charge of, of storing the electricity from the alternator. I talked about regenerative uh, energy production. And then also the, the amount, the watts that you are sending to the, to the electrolysis machine. So it's part of the system. If I had everything, I, I would have done all that research in six months. But given that I'm sourcing things, it has taken me around three years. So, because I started in high school, yeah. And now I am, I am here. But you know, the, the process never ends. Uh, they're still modifying cars since 1960s. Till now, they're still modifying them. I'm pumping in 100 watts. Mm -hmm. How many cubic meters of, of, of hydrogen am I producing per minute? So if you're able to do such calculations, you're able to get a graph 
and change and 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 change and vary the conditions to see what will give you better better production of hydrogen better efficiency so machines that are able to to sense the hydrogen production machines that are able to to use the hydrogen better because there are engines that are specifically made for hydrogen which will give you better better mileage all we need in Kenya is it's not it's not necessarily funding but education education for our people because mostly I'll, I'll, I'll pass somewhere and someone will ask me how does it work and you know the, this electrolysis we've all been taught in high school yeah. and people don't take it seriously so I, I feel like the practical way of teaching things would be very very nice and also empowering yeah, empowering young scientists in Kenya mm -hmm. and giving them a platform to to work on their things providing them with machines there are some machines that I really feel like if I had I would be able to do a lot of research on the hydrogen uh, hydrogen energy and how to use it and how to produce green hydrogen mm -hmm. that we don't have in Kenya. So just giving them the platform and facilities to, to do what they, they, they want to do. I remember there was a time my, my mom was asked and, 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 and your son doesn't go to school, he just goes to, mm -hmm. to scrapyards to look for, for pieces of metal. And, and she was like, yeah, that's, that's, that's what he likes doing. Mm -hmm. So in my home area, most people know me as that guy who just walks with pieces of metal and doesn't know what he's going to do. But they, they don't see the, 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 the end goal, the fact the that, yeah, yeah, you go look for this small piece that was cut from a car. Yeah. Think of how you're going to connect it to make your, 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 your hydrogen machine work better. And you come and weld it. So most around 90 percent including the bicycle mm -hmm. the bicycle the engine uh the solar panel uh, i i got it broken then it was broken and then i repaired it mm -hmm. it's still broken but yeah i got it from the from the scrapyard and i connected it so around nine, 95 percent of the bike is, is is gotten from the scrap all right quite uh, an interesting story there just looking at 